What it do, baby? It's your boy Tyreek Wynn. Welcome to another edition of Z News. In other news, various countries are finding ways to reverse damage to the environment. According to Frontline Magazine, environmental action is being taken around the world. Cleaner city air, coral reef restoration, and protecting bees are among the efforts being made towards a cleaner and safer tomorrow. Younger generations are embracing retro video games. According to The Guardian, Millennials and Gen Z are connecting through social media and discussing the benefits of retro gaming. The driving factor in the game's increased popularity is nostalgia. This is especially true for Millennials who were raised on the same games that are making a comeback. This has been seen in the remembrance of older technology like the iPod. While it's possible that it's just a trend, the demand for older technology is growing rapidly. For those of the gamblers out there, on another note, Minnesota sports fans are hopeful that sports betting will soon be legalized in the state. The act has already been approved in 38 states and Minnesota hopes to be next. According to CBS News, sports betting is met with many different opinions as some believe the act takes away from the environment of the sport itself. Disney Plus and Hulu have announced the release of three DC Universe superhero films on the platform. Wonder Woman, Shazam, and Shazam Fury of Gods have all been added to Disney Plus and Hulu. These films are available to watch in the streaming bundle. According to Direct, this is not the first time that DC films have been added to Disney's platforms, as Harley Quinn Birds of Prey was made available on Hulu in 2023. Billie Eilish, Nicki Minaj, and Miranda Lambert are among a group that has signed a letter asking companies to stop using AI as it takes jobs away from artists. Over 200 names are on the letter. According to NBC News, the letter was created by the Artist Rights Alliance. The alliance is a nonprofit that advocates for musicians in the digital economy. The letter calls for AI a, quote, assault on human creativity. Kristen Wiig is making headlines after reviving her famous character Target Lady from Saturday Night Live. Wiig plays the character in a new Target advertisement and viewers are thrilled to see the character back on the screen. According to People Magazine, the character originated on SNL in 2005. Wiig was thrilled to revive the role for the Target ad and is set to host Saturday Night Live in the upcoming weeks. And lastly, Jennifer Lopez has rebranded her North American tour to highlight her greatest hits after tickets to our concerts didn't sell pretty well. According to Variety, Lopez had originally advertised the tour to focus on her recent album, This Is Me Now. The pivot to focus on Lopez's greatest hits allows for the artist to appeal to larger audiences. This Is Me Now is part of a project that involves two films exploring elements from Lopez's love life. Well, that's it for this edition of Z News. Make sure you stay connected with us around the clock. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below and also share the episode. This has been Z News. I'm your host, Tyreek Wynn. Catch y'all next time.